Welcome to Circling Infinity on LightWavesRadio.com with your host, Wendy Adams. This series of shows represents the third stage in the spiritual evolution and highlights how we can successfully accept the inevitable parody and vibrational universal changes that Earth is already undergoing as it and we transcend the bonds of physical limitation and this fascinating journey of self-discovery and spiritual evolution. Welcome to Light Waves Radio. My name is Wendy Adams, and I have the honor of having on a very ancient, amazing being, an old friend, William. William, I'm so happy you're here. Welcome. Hello. Namaste. Uh, this came when you said old family. Absolutely. I, I recognized right. you. I have to share a little something that I don't think I've even shared with you, William. I actually okay. met your energy long before I met you because I was visiting my dear friend John at his home. And I had arrived, I think, two or three days after you and the lovely Kalina, my dear sister, was there. And I walked in and it was like the second time I had ever been to his home. I said, oh, my God, the energy is incredible. He's like, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. And I said, no, no, this is different from the last time I was here. I said, who has been here? This is the most perfectly divinely balanced masculine and feminine energy I have ever felt. I know these people. I recognize their energy. And then he's like, oh, well, my, my good friends, Kalina and William have just been here. And I said, I am seeing visions of her clearing the energy in your home and William's with her too and assisting. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I know them. I have known you guys for billions of years. And so it's an honor to have you on here. I just wanted to share that little bit. Well, thank you. Same here. Yes. Right <laughs> So do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? You know, I, like, I don't like to have a structured show. I kind of want to be whatever you're feeling in the moment and let things just flow. Well, about myself, of who I am. Um, that was like a, a life question, you know? Right. And uh, so when I was three years old, I had a vision about a past life also, but more in the symbolic symbology of actually what's now happening. And uh, it has to do with the activation of the light body and the transition that we are in. And some already are true. Uh, how do you get, they went through the door, if, if you will. Um, I just grew up as a beautiful, uh, how do you say that in English? That's not the right word. <laughs> but beautiful like a is a great like, word. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like a little bit of a rebel, you know, I still, I was a little bit of a little bit rebel. And, um, so this is how I grew up with a lot of questions, but the main question that I had in my life is true love, true love right. and truth. So, um, yeah, I'm doing at the moment, uh, I had, had like a satsang day uh, about truth and healing at the same time and sharing my vision, how I look at life at this moment after my development, how I work, uh, what for me is the void or spirit, uh, God, God is an, and spirit and the connection within that within the system. Um, and it all has to do with my whole life. Uh, when I saw someone in my life for the first time and I fell in love, in love, you know, and uh, well, from that point on, a big story started for my life to to reconnect with source, with the true love, at first, your own inner being, Kiti Aturna Sihinya. And, uh, and from that point on, everything is actually a, a reflection of that. And you can fill it in, in uh, endless ways in your experience of creation where you are now in this moment. So along the way, I met like an older guy. He was like a brother, friend, also like a bit spiritual father. His name is uh, like in English, you could translate it to John, but in Dutch it's, it's called Jan. And he was just a painter, worked for like 40, 50, maybe sometimes 60 hours a week and smoked a lot, like heavy 
Chegg. <laughs> and uh, he went to the bar, you know, had his beers and played billiard. And also I played billiard because my parents in that time had a pub in the, the local area. And he could t take away pain from people. He had really little, strong, soft hands, and he was always full of love. And uh, but just a normal workman, right? Very simplistic. So, uh, yeah, he once said to me, uh, do you also feel that sometimes that your hands are warmer? And uh, I said, yes, especially after the gym. So, yeah, I experienced a lot of things in my life that awakened me when I was 17. Uh, and now I can say that in that time, I actually had an enlightenment of creation itself. Um, it was the connection with, with uh, the divine father, if you will, higher self, the universe. Uh, but that's all. Uh, it's also father and mother, of course. Uh, but in that time, it's more like the mental enlightenment. So thought forms for me is actually the connection to the masculine. And also you can split it up in masculine and feminine, of course. So the trinity um <clears throat> yeah so at the same time when the light came into my consciousness because of that was the the, the initiation of the activation in my life then also my subconscious became became uh, activated to clear and yeah when i was like uh it was in 2000 10th of october 10 10 was an activation i also had a big crash in frontal crash with uh, a truck three days i was gone in in the hospital uh, out of consciousness and uh yeah I, I woke up and then i went three weeks in the hospital yeah and then i i, uh, I came out of that and like five months later i took over a company <laughs> like a little pub and a gym so that was very impact but because of my my willpower in that time i was young i was vibrant i was passionate i has i have for me it was like discovering the secret of life you know but also still a big ego and uh it's it's okay to have a big ego to, uh, you know personality but to transform that into love and light as you are as a vessel um yeah that's the journey <laughs> so uh yeah i have a big story to share uh, in that way from that point on because then i a man from india came a big man and that time i had a girlfriend who was very psychic also the first experience that i had with a woman to be in the energy and consciousness of yeshua <sighs> hello and mary magdalene and uh that was amazing and then my journey started on a spiritual path and I grew and I grew, I had workshops, uh, started teaching yoga class, uh, classes. I had a spiritual, I sold my company in the, the village where I am now. And I went to, to Eindhoven, like I was 24 years old in that time. I had to let go of my son in that time. A lot of friends I had to let go of. And um, well, my son was just in that way, very little. I had him in my hands when he was very little. And uh, yeah, I had to choose for the right choice in that moment in time that was always based on love and uh, of course um of course as human being there were also projections upon it that were not like based on love in a particular way of consciousness of course um but yeah you're young and naive and that's how you grow in life right absolutely as a human being so i grew and uh, i came i have i experienced between that before i went from my little village to to the city i experienced a lot of things uh, also my girlfriend that time had a very big huge transformation spiritually and that was not an easy easy uh, transformation and i'm not going deeper into that now uh, uh, but yeah you can think of somebody who's not grounded anymore <clears throat> and other spirits can uh, talk through the body and uh, that was not understood yet by me uh, through me not and um, but after that experience and after more uh, people that I met in my life like teachers you know uh, I knew I grew in connecting with the spirit world and work with with the positive and the negative energies and not like working together with the negative energies, but to transmute it to transform through the heart 
Um, yeah, that was a whole journey. Even my company, the second company that I built it up in, in, in Eindhoven, a lot of synchronicity. The man from India who came did some fortune telling. And Jan, he saw like somebody's coming and somebody or well, somebody's going. And he came in my, in my gym, in my pub and did fortune telling. He picked uh, a lot of things were right. And also what came in the future was exactly right. And um, yeah, there was a journey again. And uh, and then in my center in Eindhoven that I rebuilt, it was like a garage. And my profession originally is I'm a carpenter. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of synchronicities in my life in that way with, with Yeshua. And uh, for instance, I've been born on the number 22. 22 is, a, is a, the building master in Hebrew, in the modern Numerology, uh, that's Dutch. Um, <clears throat> but the little house that I've been born in was in the in the backyard of my grandfather, mother, and my parents. Uh, well, there was a little stable with some animals, and they created a house from that. So after that, my parents went living there, and uh, and that's the place where I've been born. So that's really also funny. Um, I have a lot of synchronicities in my manifestation. It's really like, like the closer and the higher you get in vibration, time is going to be less and you're going to see physical manifestations in your life as in synchronicities. And people around me also experience them like and in that way they, wo they woke up through that. And uh, also my parents, even they cannot reach on the vibration and consciousness in that way, but still they know there's something going on and uh, yeah and go back to simplicity that is love and grace um, they understand right and know that they are on the journey everywhere they are now and uh, you know, for me of course as a child also that to embrace that in love and forgiveness it's it's uh, really um, i'm now living with them and uh, there's a saying of the buddha right if you are like think you are an enlightened being Go live with your parents for a week. <laughs> well, I I know that now that is uh, that's like I know why and uh, still it's um uh, how do you say that if it's possible and you are in a high vibrational state of consciousness and you can see the reflections I would admire that to do that minimal time for a week so because you're going to see so much. And uh, I'm fortunate that my sister is living in front of my parents in the house and they have two beautiful children, uh, my godchild Lenny and uh, my little niece. Uh, oh, no, you say probably different in, in, in English, but um, yeah, they are like similar as me and my sister. Two years different and uh, Lenny is the older boy uh, uh, and uh, Isla was the, the younger sister. It's the same with my sister and me. So the reflections are like so similar in this place. And you're really going to see how the programming is starting in life and how I've been programmed and also the passion of, that comes forth out of that to do to do the right thing or to transform the rejections, you know, and feel not good enough and not worthy and all of that. So I'm now really in the middle of that energy and consciousness. So, uh, and to grow up now, not being the little boy anymore, but be the man that, that I am, to stand in that ground and power and energy in a loving way, it's a big challenge. <laughs> but I'm, uh, I'm getting there, you know, um, living in a garage with a tent. And uh, I actually, in my life now, I can say that I've seen like uh, in the projections a lot already in my life, uh, being in gratitude, uh, just being present and have a roof above your head and uh, have something to eat and some people that are around you that you love that's so um, meaningful especially i had some companies and i lost them i lost a lot of people but that's really the most important thing and um, the one the sad thing of course in enlightened states there's no sadness but as a human being the sad thing uh, to be here is that you also see um, the process is still, you know, and you see also your, your father and your mother not really taking the transformation and things that are going on. So 
Yeah, to, to, I work with that to cut that loose every day because it's a daily thing. Because where you are, you're going to pick up the energies, especially when your heart is open and you're in service of your higher self or God, if you will. And it's a daily job to transform energies. And uh, so, yeah, for me, it's also time to, to move on. And uh, when my time is done here and it's already happening now, uh, God will show me the way. Or it will just be manifested and I will have to walk through the door or, you know, that's the step that we have to make as human being. So, yeah, the circle in that way is round uh, because my parents are also living in a little house in the backyard of my sister now. So that's the same situation that I told you before where I've, where I've been born in. And, uh, yeah, and I also communicate with, my, communicate that with my parents and they can see those similarities and reflections, you know, and that's amazing. And that's also the acknowledgement and the recognition that you want to have as a child with your parents, right? And it's not, they don't have to be in a physical state of, of being. Uh, you can also connect with them in spirit and with their souls. And you can have the same communication. So, um, yeah, I can share a lot about uh, me and my journey and who I am. And maybe more will come up during this, uh, these shows. So, uh, I've been initiated, anointed in my life, also through reflections of my life. So it's not that I went to some teacher or something that anointed me, but it really happened in synchronicities. Uh, and that was also another lady in my life who was carrying the Mary Magdalene energy and consciousness. And it's all the reflective energy of my own uh, feminine, my own subconscious in my being that has been presented in my life until this day. Um, to purify myself it's my my mission and everybody's mission is the first thing you need to do in life is to transmute your own dna that you have received from your parents it's the trinity father mother and child and um i'm that's the highest thing you can do you know in, in on earth is uh, there's a beautiful story about um shiva and uh shakti uh, Parvati, i believe and two sons and the little competition was like who's going to be walk around the universe quickest so uh it's ganesha and the other one i, I don't forgot his name a yogi lady from india gave that to me so yeah he he made a journey the brother from ganesha and after a while he came back and then he was surprised that ganesha was already there or maybe still there and Ganesha walked around his father and mother because that was his universe for him. And uh, so you can take a journey in life, you know, go through all the experiences and then come back home within yourself, within father and mother. And um, or you just already know. And uh, I made a journey in that way to come back now in this place where I am now and also reflective for my connection with father, son, mother, earth and the spirit that is within me in all things and that is connected to source of all that is so yeah in a nutshell this is a little bit my story but <laughs> it's amazing because you know as you're sharing i'm literally seeing and i love talking to other ancient souls because i'm seeing everything as you're sharing the visions of it all it's just beautiful like what an amazing transformation and you're right we we all have on our path all these synchronistic things that occur nothing is coincidental it is all meant to help help us on our path to grow and to evolve and so when we do have these experiences that may be less than pleasant that's usually when we grow the most and we're meant to we're meant to have these experiences to inspire us we grow the most through the trauma and the pain if everything was always blissful we wouldn't have a need or desire to go within more and to learn more and to grow and i don't even want to really say learn because it's more about remembering we already have everything all the knowledge within us you know in our within our hearts yeah and to be blissful is is a nature that for us is like eternal and in this way we when we don't connect with it because of free will we we can lose that connection right yeah definitely and yeah. so what kind of things are you up to nowadays are you doing readings still and i'm seeing geometry flashes you're still building stuff right yeah now that i could like be in the garage sleeping and working actually a little bit on my geometries um 
I just sold one to Australia. That was actually the first one, the original one. Um, and that like came into uh, completion with my life work. And uh, it's, it's connecting the sun or if you will, the cube of Metatron connecting with the earth temple of Mo or mother earth. And that's the symbology of connecting God and goddess within us uh, as a masculine and feminine, the holy marriage, sacred marriage. And that first needs to take place within. And um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's a little bit, uh, I'm building on it. Uh, I have a little pyramid now and with stones, the five geometries in, in, in uh, it's like gemstones and uh, I activate them and they're really powerful. And you can put different ones on, on the top of the pyramid. <laughs> the funny thing is that actually I was more surprised than, uh, you know, I, I, then I work with somebody and then something comes forth out of that. You know, it's not like planned. And suddenly I felt like the different energies from the, the, the different geometries and uh, and I felt also immediately what they did in the system. And the people did the same. The woman who I was with in that moment felt the same. And, uh, oh, wow, this is amazing. And then the product, you know, is born in that way. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is like for my life, the team of true love um, also has to do with yoga. Um, Tantra. Uh, Tantra, the meaning of the word is expansion of consciousness and uh, connected to the life force and love. Love and for me, love, light, and the life force are one. And to do that in purity and also in, in truthfulness, uh, in the own connection to the I am presence, if you will, uh, to acknowledge the existence, I use the words I am and just be still after that and uh, feel feel the connection and um, so together with Kalina I'm following a path and uh, it's pretty intense she's very psychic she's a she's a big light and uh, ha, I feel my heart expanding now yeah I'm feeling that uh, too she's amazing yeah. yes um one, uh, uh, she's really reflected, let me say this, uh, in past relationship and Kalina, they reflect a lot of my uh, my past. In this way, she's very powerful to transmute those things within my presence and being. And she's so pure and innocent in that way. She is also, uh, you know, she cannot always remember what she has channeled. But then in this way, that's the perfect beingness that we can be. You know, have no memory in that way and just energies, your higher self, your higher memory that is used, is working through you in that way. And you will know exactly what you need to know in the right moment. That's how spirit works, right? In the, in the old teachings, you could say, trust the will of the father and, and the thoughts um, and the mother. Okay, so... Um, so many similarities uh, that I had in the past reflection in relationship just... Uh, went on and more combined. I had like a satsang healing day in Den Haag and I had four beautiful goddesses. Uh, I was very honored to work with them and also later the owner of the place was also a goddess and uh, all five had like reflections from again past women in my life. And not like always a relationship, but just an interaction. And that was very strong. And now I can see the consciousness that is behind it. That is coming from a subconscious, you know, and then it goes up into the system from below or above <clears throat> in the personality that is in front of you. And then the, if you can see and feel the energies, you know what you are projecting or what is what your subconscious is, is saying through the reflection. So and still, you know, it's illusion, you know, same as the Buddha is sitting in meditation and you're going to be the observer in that way. So that's where I am at the moment in my development. I had a very, very beautiful development with Kalina about Tantra. And then you have like, I, everybody can transmute energy. Uh, nice. Not everybody's doing that, right? So you have like different channels. And like you have the third channel is a very beautiful white pure energy transformation to enlightenment the fourth and the fifth are 
or like not active in that way because they are from the higher dimensions. And this was a channeling of from Kalina. And uh, the first one is, and, and the second one, for me, you can say you compare with the, the black, the red and the white Tantra. So the second one could be more like the red one, if you will. I'm not saying that it's, it's exactly like that. It's more the consciousness behind it. And the red one is more connected to the physical and still you can um, be attached to the energy exchange of sexuality of sexual life force. And, you know, you can get recognition out of that. It's a life acknowledgement uh, and there can be a dependency, empty, you know, filling the void, the emptiness within ourselves. And, um, and the first uh, tube is also connected to the physical and more like even deeper into the dependency of that energy, you know, and then you, you're going to do things when you harm other people to get that energy, for instance. You know, it's it's a foundational. Um, you can see in the world, everything is the, actually it's the battle of life energy. It's the battle of joy. It's the battle of feeling good enough, you know. And uh, and luckily this is changing a big time because the earth is really uh, into an enlightenment. The earth itself already, now the people on it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful change. So yeah, I was um, it was beautiful synchronicity. I was walking uh, after a beautiful day to be at some portals, and uh, I was looking for a new stone circle portal. And I was uh, guided by other uh, friend goddess from the Dutch, and also very psychic, beautiful lady, powerful lady, and uh, so I went alone to to go there to meditate or just to be able to look at that, that portal. So I was walking and the portal was gone. Some other people, they, they build, they build it and they, how do you say that? They, they build and break it down once in a while, or maybe other people. So uh, I was walking and I'm asking like some people where it exactly the spot is around the water. And then uh, I met two girls. And he said, maybe it's there, maybe it's not. So I went there and I, after that, I went back. I sit, sat down a little bit higher place, meditating, do some breath work, enjoy uh, nature. And then uh, the two ladies, they were very close. They were playing the guitar and the drum and they were singing, holy, holy, holy. And uh, it was really beautiful. And then I looked down and there was a man and a woman, a father and a mother playing with the child, you know, the Trinity. And I was in bliss, meditating, just being, and uh, yeah. So, okay, that's fine. And uh, after that experience, I walked on and I want to have a beautiful spot to see the sun uh, sunset. I passed uh, two ladies and then a little group of ladies. And then there was a guy and uh, he was swinging, uh, singing of uh, no swimming and uh, then I walked back and I, I passed them again and the two ladies, one of them, they turned around and I always have like in my life yin yang, blonde hair or dark hair ladies reflecting me, my own uh, yin yang consciousness, right, if you will. But suddenly I probably the lady was interested and she sent the lower vibe energy of sexuality towards me and I felt it like phew, and uh, so I started breathing and just walk on, you know. <laughs> so I did that and I walked back to the car. <clears throat> and I was not really yet aware of what happened, but I talked with Kalina afterwards. And uh, it was really the, the two, that I could feel strongly the difference between when you're working with the animal energy, right, to, to create babies and how the, the, the female can send that outwardly to men. And really, it's really powerful. And you have to be strong as a man to canalize that energy. But the other one was really impurity, holy, you know, it was like the third channel. And to, to get along on that path for me to balance that and to transform that, I'm really making uh, big steps at the moment within my own consciousness. And again, it's a very powerful reflection, right? That you can see that life or spirit or God, if you will, is, is really in everything and talking through everything like that you're in a movie. And that experience is, is very strong in my whole life. Yeah. And Amazing. a lot more, of course. Yeah, a lot more, of course. Yeah. 
<laughs> Definitely. You know, and you're right on about that. It's so imperative right now that we maintain our vibrations at the highest possible level. And we it's so transparent out there when someone is coming at us with that lower vibration that it's we're so aware of it now. And many ancients are having the same kind of experiences for sure. Yeah. And still they don't know what they do, so and forgiveness is really the key to open the heart and to transform the energy always. Absolutely. You know, and I always enjoy having a conversation with you. It's always so special and unique. And it is that way with all of us that are Thank pretty you. ancient. And so real, you know, because we're starting to get a little bit closer to the time where we have oh. to close, I want to make sure that we get some, I know it goes by quick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it does. Um, but I want to make sure that people know that they can, how they can get in touch with you or if they can get readings from you. What kind of things are you doing to help people out there that you want to talk about? Um, I give, um, well, I just lately did a satsang day and healing day. I really connect with the system with people and in relation to the, the connection with, with the father and the mother and what that means in the system with the higher consciousness and the subconsciousness. Uh, so I tune in with that. I feel the system and how strong the connection is within people and within the system and uh, go bring them back into simplicity. And, uh, because of my light and my energy where I am, you know, because when I meet somebody who's stronger and bigger than me in, in their light, you know, then I will be reflected, of course. And it works also in a trinity, so the mirror is also within. And in that inter interaction, in that moment, uh, I work with, with people. And um, most important thing is the strongest uh, that I do in that moment is the clearing. It already happens when we connect. And um, I teach people also that you do not need to know, uh, because you already have experience in that way, what it is that you need to transform. Because if you look at it, everything is unconditional love from the point of zero, the moment of now. And the moment of now, in essence, is empty. It's the void. So in this way, there is no forgiveness needed if you are in truth. But still, because we are manifestors, we need to forgive because we are holding on I was holding to on it uh, ourselves right <clears throat> so to be in that zero point you have to center yourself in, in emotional in thought forms and uh, because those are connected to the lower chakras in that way in the bodies so when you I bring them into alignment and then the transformation just happens you know it's uh, yeah that will be done and um, not my will, but I will be done is even stronger because then you're really connecting first with your ego, your personality. And I don't want to put ego as something positive or negative. Um, it's, it's a word. So the meaning to the word is your own creation. Always. Everything is your own projections in reality. Take responsibility for that. So I will, I will bring back people in that uh, unity consciousness. And uh, that's also what I did with the satsang healing. It's really powerful uh, only by sharing my experiences and just a little bit brought up so many emotions and recognition by people uh, around me. And um, yeah, that's what I what I do. You know, I give I have now a discount. Also, people can get into that and work with me for an hour. And uh, yeah, for me, that's amazing. I, I love I love it's my my joy to work with people in that way and to help them transform and share my my knowing. And uh, I'm building on to do events uh, also on my own. I did them with Kalina. I did them in my own spiritual center, but that's for a long time ago. And I, um, yeah, I can do breath work with my yoga classes. Um, there's a lot. <laughs> there is, there is, you know. Um, yes. And, so, I, and I hate to put a time limit on it, and so I'm sorry if you, I'm not trying okay, to rush yeah, no, you at no. all because I just want to make sure we get all if we can packed into this little bit for everybody. You know, about that, the most important thing is when you're that's what I most think people know when they need to come to me, and that's always in perfect time and alignment. Uh, you know, and I'm also going through that insecurity, so I'm like, okay, when is someone coming? But it's always on in perfect divine timing. And uh, yeah, it's 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 guided completely by uh, through God and the Holy Spirit. Definitely. 
So, you know, I just want to say, even just having this conversation with you, it's really amazing because your energy automatically does healing and activation just through your talking with me, I can feel. And so I really do want to encourage people out there to have, you know, a session or a conversation, whatever you want to call it, a healing with you, because it's been a beautiful, I'm, I'm just totally enjoying your energy. Yeah, I feel also the, when I connect a little bit deeper, then energy comes to me that needs to be transformed. And uh, that's also what I feel now. So that's why when I do this, energy goes right. away through the heart. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, I, I just bring people to peace and, and in that moment to love and uh, make them awake and conscious of simplicity that that is God, you know, and also the dogma on God. Um, I take it away and I also can explain where it comes from in the, the old timelines and even when there are fake ones and real ones and it's like chaotic <laughs> sometimes if you yes. go into that right so i've been there i lived uh, many lives already in this life uh, i died several times and also to pick up different timelines to transform them and suddenly somebody else says that you're not that personality anymore and that's true you know because you switched it to a different timeline so yeah if you're not if you're not able to surrender to that in the moment of now in the nothingness uh, it can be very tough in the mind to have peace so that's I, I i bring people to that peace point within themselves and if you a lot of times people said i have worked already so much on myself and they come to me and then it's different you know uh, every time you're going to come back to the iron presence within yourself the zero point um but still, when someone comes with a different vibration or a different reflection, yeah, you have to observe. Absolutely. Yep. I totally agree with you on that. And, you know, I think that it is definitely about where people are at. And right now, um, there's so much chaos going on in the world. And, yeah. you know, we have to just find a way to be in our heart centers and to stay there. That's where we are, you know, accessing our higher self and where we are the best that we can be. I just always want to remind people out there to mm. make your words and your actions come from your heart center. Kitia tu kurna ka sumpur di shahnya kumur nukutu unnu urdi i kayar na hasu tu pur da kita ati tu pu utu sihinya nimina sutu riti ka hanta mur nukutu urdu suku uri hi sihinya ni. So it's golden light, and it's from uh, Father Melchizedek. Thank <laughs> you. William, thank you so much for coming on and sharing. And we'll put your information on the website as well, where people can get in touch with you. And hopefully we can maybe do this again and get some more information out there, because it's always fascinating and so lovely <laughs> to talk with you. Yes, wonderful, uh, Wendy. Thank you for this uh, gateway and opportunity and the beautiful angel that you are. Oh, thank and, you. Uh, yeah, of course. We're sending you so much love to all of you out there and hoping yes. that you have an amazing, amazing day. I will, always. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs>